up guys, uh, in this video I'm going to be showing you a Flash plugin uh, for Safari uh, on your iPhone or iPod and the fl what the Flash plugin does is it lets you play videos like this on YouTube or various other websites in like how it should be played in the Safari browser just make sure my brightness down really quick, okay um, what you're going to need to do, you obviously need your iPhone jailbroken to do this uh, and this is if you've used some of the previous Safari uh, Flash plugins, like where you'd use bookmarks, it's a little bit more advanced than that. It's actually a it's a it's pretty nice. But there was a lot of bugs with it if you used it before and you had the Safari download plugin. If you had that, they would conflict with each other when you were trying to either download or watch a video. So what you're gonna need to do first is go ahead and open up Cydia. Mine's just loading up here. Uh, and you're gonna need to add the source to get this. It's called uh, d.imobilecinema.com. I'll display that on the screen now and over in the video description if you want to check that out. So you're going to need to, if you don't know how to add a source, you go to the Open City, you go to the Manage tab, and hit Sources. And then Edit. I'm doing this backwards so it's kind of hard. And then Add. Okay, and then you'll add the source. I'm just going to hit Cancel. I already have the source added. And then you should see iMobile Cinema once it's done. So to get the packages for it, you can go ahead and just tap on that source. If it will let me tap on it. Okay, there we go. It's just loading up. Alright, so you see the two packages in there. iMobile Cinema for 2.x and iMobile Cinema Controller. Uh, I wouldn't even have made this video if that uh, controller wouldn't have come out. We were in a live chat the other day. On, we were talking about that, that they should make a plug-in to turn this on and off in boss breaths. So that helps it out a lot so you don't conflict with Safari Download plugin. Alright, so let's go ahead and install that. I already have it installed, so I'm not going to do that again. So install the iMobile Cinema for 2.x uh, and the iMobile Cinema controller. I'm going to go ahead and install that as well. Okay, so go ahead and install both of those. And we're going to need to, it, it should, if you don't already have Boss Press downloaded, it should automatically download Boss Press for you, which is a very great app for turning different packages, or turning like different features on and off. <clears throat> okay, so it's finishing up now. And I will show you. Sorry, I'm not at my usual angle of how I film. I'm using my eyesight camera. It's a lot easier to edit and stuff like that. Okay, so I've got both of those downloaded. Now you can go home. And now you're going to need to reboot your phone. And I'll come back when mine is done rebooting. Okay, so we're turning back on. Uh, before we go ahead and look at the features of it, we are going to go ahead and open up Boss Press. I'm going to show you about that, how you can turn this uh, off, uh, the on-off feature of the I'm going to send a plug-in. I just hit understood if this is the first time you're opening it. Okay, so there we go. As you see, you should see the iMobile Cinema plug-in. You can turn that on or off. So if you're gonna if you're wanting to go download download something with the uh, iMobile Cinema, or if you're gonna go download something with Safari download plugin in Safari, uh, you're gonna need to probably turn that off, or they conflict with each other. All right, so let's go ahead and open up Safari, and I'm gonna go ahead and go to Okay, so it loads up in the mobile page of YouTube, so I'm just going to hit view desktop version. I don't recommend using that mobile version of YouTube. It's really crappy. They should have the built-in app. It should be a lot better than what it is. Okay, so we're on YouTube. Let's just click any video. I'm just going to tap on a video. Yeah, here we go. And you will see what I'm talking about. Okay, as you see, it loads up and it looks just like you would if you were on YouTube. Well, not exactly like it, but basically like it. Okay, you can tap that uh, right there where that picture is of the video and it will start playing. And let's go ahead and demonstrate that. Wrong way. Hmm. There we go. Whatever video this is. And you can also tap to turn the uh, fast forward, rewind, volume, and skip ahead. Then you can hit the done button. And then they have the X, the X button as well in the top right corner. <clears throat> so that's basically it, guys. Uh, this works on a pretty good amount of websites. So hopefully they'll be adding a lot of updates to this to actually work with some real Flash games and stuff like that. I haven't found any that works with this, so we'll just have to wait for that. But... Let's hope they uh, let's hope they answer our needs. I guess you'd say because they did add that Safari uh, or the on-off plugin, and we were talking about that the other like the day before in the chat. That was pretty funny. So 
that's basically it guys hope you enjoy this leave a comment below if you have any questions or problems and thanks for watching please subscribe rate and comment and favorite bye